Hi everybody, welcome to this week's weekly huddle for Steelers Nation Unite members. I'm Missy Matthews, joined now by Stefan Tewitt. Good week of practice? Yes, great week of practice. All right, getting ready to face the Kansas City Chiefs in the divisional round. We have tons of questions, so we're going to jump right to it if that's okay. Um, this first one is from Cam. Wants to know, does number 91 have any significance? Does number 91 have any significance? Mm -hmm. Of course, number 91 have significance. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of legendary and Hall of Fame players have worn this number, so when I wear this number, I wear a great pride. Okay. Ted Webb wants to know, were you more nervous playing in your first NFL game or asking your girlfriend to marry you? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> I'll probably still say my first NFL game, I was super excited and nervous too. Okay. And they both happened on a football field. <laughs> All right. This is from Dustin. He wants to know about your relationship with Cam. Have you guys been able to talk about upcoming opponents since he's been on IR and how has he affected your style of play? Um, he's just been there. Um, a great intel person that's on the sideline that's able to see stuff that I'm not able to see since I'm playing. So he helps me out and be able to when I go back in the game, be the guy with a move or no formations of personnel. Okay. All right. This is from uh, No Name for this guest. They want to know, what was it like to play football for the University of Notre Dame? Oh, it was awesome. Greatest experience of my life. And uh, if I could do it all over again, I definitely would. Okay. Pittsburgh Bill says, where do you think you have improved the most? I personally think you really excelled in stopping the run. Um, I did think my overall game just, just really came this year, and I'm only going to get better, and uh, that's the good part. Okay. Derek wants to know, is there one thing you do each week on a regular basis prior to a game? As in, like, a ritual or something? Yeah, anything. Well, I like to have movie nights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I always try to get a movie night in and uh, watch some film afterwards, a good two hours of film at home, and uh, after that, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Steelware wants to know, what is your pregame routine? Pre-game routine, uh, well, I'm probably in a game mode by that time, so I'll possibly say, you know, getting my tape, you know, my energy drinks, and, uh, you know, really getting my mindset on destroying and really trying to hurt somebody on the football field. Okay. <laughs> Steelville wants to know, do you have a memorable or favorite sack? Do I have a memorable or favorite sack? Uh, hmm. I'll have to say I've been against Flacco. Baltimore Ravens, when they came to our place, and, uh, we gave them a big licking. <laughs> All right, real quick, we'll get back to the questions. We just want to say congratulations to Bradley Yendel. He is the winner of a Stefan Tewitt signed football, so thanks for signing that. Thanks to Bradley for being a member. Back to the questions. Uh, this one is from Get It Done. He wants to know, who was your favorite NFL team growing up and your favorite player? Well, one of my favorite players that I love to watch as I start getting into the NFL was Richard Seymour. I love Richard Seymour. Um, I want to mirror my game after him and uh, also more by myself too. But uh, my favorite team at the time, being from Miami, was the Dolphins. And uh, <laughs> when I moved to Georgia, I became the Falcons when Vic had his era there. And then now it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm glad to be a part of it and blessed to be here. All right, we like to hear that. This next one is from William, wants to know, what do you do in your free time? Cook. We were just talking <laughs> about this. I love to cook when I get some free time. <laughs> okay. This one is from Trevor. Um, hey, Stefan, what do you do pre or what do you do before every game in terms of a workout routine? Mm. Definitely when we run onto the field, our pregame stretch is my one of my favorite and key workout routines. Warms up the body, really shows the atmosphere, and you can see the other team. That part be it. Do you do the same thing every time? Yep, same thing every time. Okay. All right, Rocky B seventy five says, "What do you credit for your level of play stepping up this season? Coaching, natural talent, motivation from Cam." Say that one more time. Uh, what do you credit for your level of play increasing this season? Is it coaching, natural talent, or motivation from Cam, um, or all of the above? Um, I'll probably say coaching the most. Um, I got a really good coach, and I'll probably say all of the above too at the same time, because each one of those are positive support and why I was able to step up this year. Okay. All right, Pamela wants to know, um, what did she say here? This is lengthy. Uh, what is the most rewarding and exciting thing that you get to experience as a football player? Running out that tunnel. Uh, In Heinz Field? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think nothing beats that. When you're about to run out that tunnel and uh, everybody's screaming and uh, you know, you're about to play a football game on Heinz Field. 
All right, Vincent wants to know, how do you prepare for a playoff game? Is the is it the same as a regular season game or different? Well, you, you have the same concept during the week. You practice the same way. But I'll probably say the intensity, the speed, the more focused, detailed work is uh, for the playoffs. You can see that a lot more. Okay. Uh, CF Schmidt 92 wants to know, what is your favorite post-game meal? Mm. Post-game meal. I don't know. <laughs> I like a lot of things. <laughs> All right, this is from K-Bear. Uh, what kind of music do you listen to before the game? A lot of hardcore stuff. A lot of stuff that's going to make you want to run through a wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I prefer. <laughs> All right, James wants to know, what is more? What is a more emotional entrance, coming out of the tunnel under Touchdown Jesus or into Heinz Field? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, uh, mm. That's a really good question. I don't know. You could say both. 50 50, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is from E.B. Steele. Are the D linemen as close as the offensive linemen? If so, what are some things that you do together offside, off of the field? Yes, we are very close. And uh, the things that we do off the field, we'll probably meet up at each other's house, uh, do treatment together one time out of the week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of just like to do it. Continuity, whatever, how you say the word. Okay, yeah. continuity. continuity. I like it. <laughs> All right, Super Steel for Life wants to know how you feel about Javon Hargrave playing as a rookie and making a huge step for the defense. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, he's been working hard all year since I saw him in training camp, and uh, I'm happy for him. And uh, he's blessed to be in a situation that the talent that he has. And also, he had a chance to have a good coach to coach him up to make him have to impact the plays that he does in the game. All right. Tom Lou 92 says, Hi, Stefana. I'll be in Pittsburgh on February 14th. Do you recommend any good restaurants? Mm, there's a lot of good restaurants. It depends on what type of food he likes. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't specify. Yeah. What's, what's one of your favorites? One of my favorites? Well, I love steak, so I'll try to go to much steak restaurants that's around here. It's a lot of good okay. places that's around here, too. That's nice. So anywhere you go, it won't be bad. All right. Uh, Steel Nation UK wants to know, what is your favorite thing about living in Pittsburgh? I would honestly say the fans. Uh, just being part of the Steelers program and having the fans, everybody show support and love here. All right. Um, we just want to let you know quickly, the keyword for today's weekly huddle is to it in honor of Stefan to it. So you can head to SteelersNationUnite.com on the homepage, enter the keyword to it. We have time for one more question here. Um, all right. This is a good one. This is from BPH64. How does it feel to be one step closer to a Super Bowl? It's nerve wracking. Heart beating every day. <laughs> You just know you can't make many mistakes, and uh, we just got to take it a game at a time. And we got the talent to do it. And uh, by doing that, we got to handle Kansas City this weekend and the next person after that, and we'll be on our way. All right, awesome. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you for your time. Thank you to you, the fans, for submitting all of these great questions. Again, don't forget the keyword today is to it. That's going to do it for our weekly huddle. We'll see you next time.